South China Morning Post, 14th of June 2023, Canadian Mounties are investigating allegations that China targeted Michael Chong, a legislator. The allegations, which resulted in the expulsion of diplomats on a case-by-case -case basis, are only one of more than 100 inquiries into foreign influence, according to RCMP Commissioner Mike Duham. Beijing has refuted Canada's accusations that China is attempting to meddle in its affairs through several schemes, including establishing unauthorized police stations. One of more than 100 inquiries into foreign interference, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police are looking into claims that China sought to intimidate a federal lawmaker, the RCMP chief said on Tuesday. China has been charged with attempting to meddle in Canadian affairs through several methods, including the establishment of unauthorized police stations and the targeting of MPs. Beijing has categorically refuted every one of these claims. Last month, Anawa expelled a Chinese diplomat for allegedly planning to assassinate Michael Chung's family in Hong Kong in 2021. Beijing retaliated in kind. According to RCMP Commissioner Mike Duham, who testified before a parliamentary panel looking into claims of foreign involvement, the RCMP learned about the incident from media accounts and conversations in Parliament. The force was looking into the alleged targeting of other people, he said, adding, when we were made aware of it, we approached Mr. Chong and began an investigation. Dua mentioned there were 100-plus files on interference and said the case of a Hydro-Quebec employee accused of espionage for China. He claimed that foreign meddling poses a complex threat to Canada's security and that the RCMP is collaborating with local and foreign partners to combat it. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is accused by opposition parties of being too lenient with China, and they are demanding a public investigation. A special investigator appointed by Trudeau to look into alleged Chinese election involvement announced his resignation on Friday, citing broad resistance to both his appointment and work. Since the detention of Huawei Technologies executive Meng Wanzhou in 2018 and Beijing's subsequent arrest of two Canadians on spying charges, diplomatic tensions between Canada and China have been at an all-time high.